All right, let's get started. We're going to discuss the computer components that supports an IT operation. In order to do that, I will first need to make sure that you understand what a network is by showing you the different components of a home network. After that, we will discuss the different types of machines that makes up an enterprise network. An enterprise network is a large network that supports big companies. Once you have a good grasp on the physical components of an enterprise network, it will be easy from there to get you to conceptualize what the internet is. Wait a minute. The internet. That's a big deal. Let's make that sound a little bit more dramatic. All right, you ready? Prepare to learn about the internet 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 <laughs> if you don't know what the internet is i know the suspense must be killing you all right let's get started so what is a network well don't just sit there staring at the screen i really want you to tell me if you don't know let's look it up by opening up a web browser i prefer to use chrome let's open up a search engine i like google and let's search what is a network. Hmm. It says right here, a network is a group or system of interconnected people or things. That definition is not really hitting quite home for me, so I need more clarification. Let's look at this link over here. Webopedia defines a computer network. Let's click on that. Let's see. It says a network is a group of two or more computer systems linked together. Bingo. That makes sense to me. Now, I could have just simply told you what a network is, but I did that because I want to reiterate the importance of researching and looking things up on your own. If you want to become a good analyst, it's a requirement. So, from our research, we've learned that a network is simply a whole bunch of computers, um, computer devices connected together. Now, I really want you to be able to visualize what this really looks like in real life. So, we will use my home network as an example. In order for me to get access to the internet at home, I need to have a home router that looks like this. Home router is a device that everyone uses at home to connect to the internet and other devices at home. Here, I'll show you what I mean by that. I can connect my home router to a plug provided by Comcast, my internet service provider. Internet service providers are companies like Comcast, aka Xfinity, Fios, and Verizon. You pay them about, what, $49.99 a month, and they basically get you on the internet, right? Well, internet service providers are sometimes shortened as ISP. So my router connects to my ISP, and my ISP connects me to places on the internet, like Yahoo, if I want to go to Google, Amazon, and the list goes on and on. So now everything that connects to my router can get on the internet. For instance, I have a laptop. That connects to my router, and from the router, I get on the internet so that I can get on websites like Facebook, Google, to name a few, right? My wife also has a laptop. That also connects to the router, and from the router, connects to the internet. Guess what else? If I know what I'm doing, I can connect from my laptop to my wife's laptop and access files that are stored on her laptop. By first, I need to go through my router, and from my router, I will get to my wife's laptop. And my wife's laptop can connect to my laptop as well in the same manner. Now, my two daughters, they each have their own tablets. So they can connect to the internet to access things like YouTube. They like to watch these, um, these videos of other kids playing with toys, which I just don't get it. But anyways, it's their tablet, and they um, are connected to the router. From the router, connects to the ISP, and that gets on the YouTube, on the internet. And uh, because my laptop is connected to the router as well, I could go from my laptop, go through the router, and retrieve files saved on my daughter's tablet, like, I don't know, say, birthday photos or whatever. Yep. With the proper configuration, I can get access to any devices that is connected to my router. So let's have a quick pop quiz. Make sure you understand. We have a smart TV that connects to my router. So let's say that we want to watch Netflix. How will that data flow work? Well, the television will connect to the router, go through my ISP, and then to Netflix on the internet. Then Netflix will send the movie back from the internet through my ISP, which sends it to my router, and then to my smart TV to play the movie. See? Now, if we drew a line around all these devices, except for the internet, 
in my home, everything in this circle is called my home network. And this diagram we just created here is referred to as a network diagram. Okay? All right, so by now you should have a very good idea of what a network is and how a network diagram looks like. It's basically a bunch of computers interconnected sharing resources. All right? See you on the next one.